Tonight, a story of doggedness and perseverance, a hunt for the truth and the meaning of justice that have carried an imprisoned man and an NBC News journalist on an unlikely two-decade-long journey in search of answers. The Sing Sing Correctional Facility houses more than 1,400 prisoners. Each can tell you why they are here. Dear Mr. Slepian, I spent a lot of time trying Some to... Some will tell you the why they shouldn't be. I know I don't belong here. But I am a firm believer that everything that happens to us in life is for a purpose. It was a single letter addressed to Dateline NBC producer Dan Slepian, sent by John Adrian J.J. Velasquez, who was serving a life sentence for the murder of a retired police officer, convicted solely on eyewitness testimony. And I get a lot of letters, as you know, from people who claim to be innocent. But what was so different about J.J.'s letter is it was meticulous. It was focused. Dozens more would follow. Skeptical but curious, Dan paid J.J. a visit. The 12 jurors said you're here for a reason. You should be locked up because you committed murder. That's what they got, but uh, they didn't know the whole story, and neither did I at that time. And there began a 20-year journey. J.J.'s unbending claim of innocence, Dan's search for the truth, detailed now in the new NBC Studios podcast, Letters from Sing Sing. What I've learned over the past two decades haunts me. Dan, tell me what Letters from Sing Sing is about. It's about how and why someone can be wrongfully convicted, but more importantly, you need a bolt of lightning to strike the courthouse door to even get another day in court. That's really what this is about. JJ gave Dan mountains of case documents and challenged him to prove him guilty. You know, I knew that he would unveil something that would look odd to him or something that actually proved that I'm innocent. But the thing that he wasn't going to find was any evidence of guilt. So did you accept the challenge that, okay, I'm going I'm to show your guilt? He, he, he challenged me to prove his guilt, and I accepted the challenge. Dan tracked down the key eyewitness. He told Dan he was pressured by police and basically picked out J.J. at random after looking at more than 1,800 mugshots. I don't know if I really picked out the right person. 20 plus years in, Dan is still unearthing bombshells, recently interviewing a juror in the case. In my heart of hearts, I knew he was innocent. She walked into the room and started crying. The jury had been sequestered for three days, and she told Dan she only voted guilty because of peer pressure. What you're essentially saying to me is that J.J. was convicted not necessarily because of the facts or the evidence, but because the jury was tired and wanted to go home. Is that true? I, I'd have to say yes. I think that's, that's the truth, yes. So why is that critical right now? When people listen to this podcast, they're going to hear a mountain of evidence that that jury never heard that points only one way to his innocence. Every time Dan gives me a call with new information, I'm impacted the same way. It feels like a stab in the gut sometimes. Had they made a different decision, my life could have been a lot different. His sentence was commuted in 2021. J.J. was released from prison, but is still fighting to clear his name. <laughs> I was sentenced to 25 years to life for the crime that I didn't commit. And now I'm being sentenced to an additional term in society. At a White House forum last fall, J.J. got something he didn't expect. You got an apology from the president of the United States. On behalf of all society, I apologize. It meant a lot to me because it meant recognition. Recognition that began with a single letter and a journalist willing to listen. I am not an advocate for J.J. I am an advocate for truth. Tonight, a spokesperson for the Manhattan DA's office tells us its post-conviction justice unit is conducting a reinvestigation of J.J. Velasquez's case. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.